Broadcasting legend Larry King passed away today at the age of 87. The television and radio host conducted around 50,000 interviews during his career. Amy Roback takes a look at his legacy. Thank you. And instead of goodbye, how about so long? Larry King was the reigning king of the television interview since he first sat down behind the CNN desk in 1985. Good evening. My name is Larry King, and this is the premiere edition of Larry King Live. King took on all comers from Hollywood's biggest stars. So they didn't cancel you. You canceled them. You're not aware of this? To decades of world leaders. First, you still like this job? Oh, I, I, this is uh, the best job on earth. I mean, it's, uh, it's an extraordinary privilege. But it was his signature dry wit and unflappability that brought some of his most memorable moments, including his now infamous interview with Marlon Brando. Bum, 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 bum. Got a date with an angel, you're off key. And when he signed off after 25 years and more than 50,000 interviews. Uh, good evening and welcome to the last Larry King Live. It's hard to say that. Born in Brooklyn in 1933, King dived headfirst into his passion for broadcasting, starting in radio before becoming a fixture on American TVs, where he set a Guinness World Record for longest running show in the same time slot on the same network. The Guinness Book of World Records has now determined that you've logged more hours on national radio than any other talk show host, yeah. and that between radio and TV, you've interviewed over 30,000 people. That's probably right. They, they really That's stick amazing. on these things. Off screen, King became notorious for his many I do's, marrying eight times to seven women. His final and longest marriage to Sean King. Amid a legendary broadcasting career, King battling a number of health issues, a heart attack, lung and prostate cancer, even a near fatal stroke that left him in a coma for two weeks in 2019. I'm on the mend, you know, and for someone 86 to gone through all the things I've gone through. <sighs> I can't believe I'm, I'm, I can't believe I'm around. King's family says he was hospitalized just days after Christmas, passing away overnight at the age of 87. SpaceX scrubbed its mission to launch 143 satellites today. Weather conditions at the Space Force Station in Florida played a role. Another Falcon 9 rocket launch attempt will be made tomorrow. If it's successful, it will mark the largest number of payloads followed in a single mission. Someone in Michigan woke up pretty rich today. After 37 drawings, there's finally a Mega Millions jackpot winner. One ticket in Michigan matched all six numbers drawn last night for the $1 billion jackpot. The cash option is $739 million before taxes. The odds of winning it all were one in 302 million. There were other big winners on Friday as well. 10 tickets matched all five numbers to get the second prize of $1 million. Now, your Storm Track 9 weather. Well, clearly, Jackson, it wasn't me. I'm not sipping on a pina colada somewhere warm right now. <laughs> yeah, if I would have won the Mega Millions, the first thing I would have done is bought some top of the line snowboard gear <laughs> and head out to Granite Peak tomorrow morning because we got some snowfall in the area today or tonight, and we're going to continue to see that overnight tonight as well in a winter weather advisory for everywhere except for the Northwoods. Now, they're still going to get some snowfall. It's just going to be a little bit less than the central and southern regions. Otherwise, it's going to be a snowy night tonight. That will be ending tomorrow morning. Let's take a look at our satellite and radar picture. Zoomed in up into the north woods, you can see a little bit lighter. Some whites, some very light blues here. Not bringing too much snowfall. Expecting maybe about an inch or two up there. Then down to the south and central regions, a little bit more. You can see the colors are a little bit darker. Seeing some lighter blues and even some dark blues as well, indicating that we're going to get a few inches in the central region. So do expect to get a few inches waking up tomorrow morning. Most of the snowfall should be falling the heaviest between midnight and 4 a.m. As we take a zoomed out look, you can see there's plenty of moisture in this system, so it should be continuing pretty much all night into tomorrow morning, ending before 9 a.m. for much of the region. But it'll be out of the state by far by midday tomorrow. Now as we take a look at our Marshfield Clinic Children's Health a hospital camera. You can see that we just have a light dusting on the ground right now. If you do look really close at that light post, you can see that it is snowing, even though most of the camera is not picking up too much snowfall. I can guarantee you there is some light snowfall in the area right now. That'll be transitioning to some moderate snow later in the night and into the tomorrow morning as well. Our Rhinelander camera also showing a little bit of a dusting up there to the north. So pretty much everywhere in the state is getting some snowfall right now and will continue to overnight. 
Our temperatures and wind chills will be just slowly rising tonight instead of falling as we typically see. Wind chills might be feeling a bit cooler in the single digits, but not a terrible overnight with temperatures in the upper, or upper uh, teens here, hitting about 21 degrees by 9 a.m. tomorrow morning, and then we'll be fairly seasonal, hitting around uh, the low 20s or sitting around 24 degrees for our high temperature. Now our future track forecast you can see here around 10 p.m. we are expecting to see some snow showers and we have been seeing those as we can see. And you can see some darker pockets of blue making their way through and that's going to bring a little bit more snowfall to the central and southwestern part of the state. That's going to continue once again tonight. Now here around 6 a.m. you can see most of the snowfall should be out of the area but the eastern portions of our region should, be still, should still be getting some snowfall in the area but by 9 a.m. tomorrow morning, especially by noon tomorrow morning, much of the snow should be out of the area. And you can see actually the clouds will be here for a little bit longer, but then some partial clearing is going to come into the afternoon. Here around 2 p.m. for the Packers Day game, we're going to be seeing just some partially cloudy skies to start the game. Then towards the afternoon or early afternoon into the start of the evening, Around 5 p.m. we should see mostly clear skies. Going to see some sunshine before the sun comes down on our Sunday, which will be a nice change to see after a lot of cloudy days. Although today and yesterday were fairly sunny, so expect to see that for at least the end of our Sunday. Starting Monday, partly cloudy, or at least the overnight hours will be partly cloudy. Then seeing some clearing here Monday morning, but more clouds will make their way through, as well as a weather system that's just going to be a little bit too far south to bring us any more snowfall. Now taking a look at our weather models, we can see that the models are predicting anywhere from 2 to 4 inches. Some of them are more higher on the scale, seeing 4, 4.2, 4.3 inches in certain areas. Other models are showing as low as 2 to 3 inches in certain areas, but we're definitely going to be picking up a few inches overnight tonight. Our blanket forecast for the area, seeing that 2 to 4 inch range pretty much widespread throughout the state, 1 to 2 inches in the far north woods, and then 4 to 5 here off to the southwest. The closer you get to this uh, region of darker blue is where you're going to be sitting more close to that 4 inch range instead of that 2 inch range, but it'll uh, vary between 2 and 4 inches here in Wausau, likely sitting around that 3 inch range. Now our Packers and Buccaneers forecast 29 degrees at kickoff. It will be getting sunnier throughout the game, 27 degrees by halftime. Then we will be about 25 in the fourth quarter for Green Bay and a little bit cooler here in the central regions, 24 in Wausau for a high temperature, 26 in Wisconsin Dells. Our seven-day forecast, though, is looking quite seasonal. We will have low 20s for most of the week. Snow showers ending in the morning on Sunday, maybe a 20% chance to the far south on Tuesday. Then warming up into the weekend, breezy on Friday at 29, 34 next Saturday.